Uh, welcome back, YouTubers. I'm uh, now I'm going to try and uh, attempt to load something on the uh, Spectrum in the uh, old school fashion. Um, so what you need is to plug in the one of the two connect, two tape um, connectors. So the one closest to the, to the TV out is the tape input. And what you'll notice is that you need a mono lead. Now, I actually have original leads. These are actually original ones. But any mono to mono lead like that will work. So you'll notice this is not stereo. This is a normal standard 3.5 millimeter jack. And it's not stereo because it only has two conducting bits so it's single channel it's mono so I have a Walkman Sony Walkman I set it to maximum volume and I have a cassette tape with a game this is the rather excellent fun park by Jonathan Caldwell published by Chronosoft now this is the standard format that games came in back in the 1980s on many of the 8-bit home computers. So put it in. So you can look at the uh, J button. J is the one that you use. So you press J. It says load. And now you do two, two comments. This means that the computer will load whatever comes next rather than looking for a particular program. And you press enter. Now this will play. Hopefully something happens. When the, uh, there we go. There we go, that's what should happen. This is the header. And it should give you the program. Now, this is the dreaded R tape loading error. What I suspect is happening is that the volume is just not enough for this, because I know this tape works. I've loaded it from onto some of my other ones. It's not the fault of the tape. It's the fault of the um, of the um, Walkman. I just don't have enough. Doesn't have enough signal for it to load. So what I usually do is actually uh, load things up from either the uh, using an app on the phone called PlayZX, or what I'll show you next is the very handy peripheral that I have. So what I'll do is, when you see this, is you can see, get to see this part is fun because you get to see the, the code. This is the loader, which is the first part that we loaded for the rest of the machine code normally program. So now you press new, and when you press new, uh, this gives you reset to the basic, but it doesn't actually clear the whole memory, it only clears the basic. So press new, I'll give you nothing, but more to the point, what we should do is try something else. So I will actually show you how to load stuff off one of these. This is a um, modern device, a uh, bit of a miracle thing. So this is a Div MMC Enjoy Mini available from Byte Delight, which I also put in the description, the link to. And you basically load things off a standard SD card, which is FAT32 formatted. You plug this into your PC or whatever, uh, Macintosh, whatever, and load it up full of uh, f tape files, snapshots. It takes tap, uh, accepts .SNA, snapshot format, .Z80, even TRD, which is a disk format. And, but like we said, do not plug this in while the power is on. Never, never do that. So, let's power it off. Okay, the... You have a look at the edge connector. The edge connector has a little notch. You'll notice the um, 
edge connector there, right? That's a little notch. Uh, the notch goes to that. And let me just put this, I'll just put this down so I can put it in there. Let me just connect that for a second. 